Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And tonight, we are finally finishing up an experiment that we started a couple months ago. A little over two months ago, Ken from BarrelCharWood.com sent me a kit from BarrelCharWood.com. This kit included everything you needed to finish spirits at home in mason jars with all the toasted and charred wood product staves you can imagine. I added staves and whiskey to a mason jar to see how these wood products would influence the taste of said whiskeys. Per Ken's orders, I let these buggers rest a minimum of 40 days. How many days did I do it? 42, except for one of them but we'll get to that later. Four mason jars of whiskey, 42 days each. One mason jar of whiskey, a lot less than that. Thank you, Barrel Char Wood, for sponsoring this video, for sending me a kit, and for letting me experiment with what you do. By the way, before we get into this, if you're interested in getting a kit of your own or just purchasing single products from Barrel Char Wood, Hit the link in the description below. Use code ADHDWhiskey at checkout and you'll save 10%. First experiment was 135 proof light whiskey that I put into a mason jar that I love so much. And my goal was to create a poor man's Old Carter American whiskey, which rumor has it is light whiskey finished in toasted barrels. So I thought, could I make my own? And I was like, let's give it a shot with this barrel char wood. So I put a toasted and charred oak stave inside of a mason jar and added obtanium light whiskey. Turns out, the higher the proof of the spirit, the faster it takes on the essence of the wood. Unfortunately, I didn't listen to Ken on this one, this one, just one experiment. After seven days, the Obtanium Light Whiskey turned into a beautiful, beautiful drink. And I put that son of a bitch in this son of a bitch. This is poor man's Old Carter American Whiskey. Now let's give it a taste. <laughs> America. Experiment number one, seven days with a toasted and charred white oak stave inside of the mason jar. Oh heck yeah. That is a brown sugar cinnamon pop tart now. With like, with like razzle berries. This is like Count Chocula cereal mixed with a brown sugar cinnamon pop tart. Only seven days it took for this light whiskey to transform into something totally different. And I'll tell you what, it is mouthwatering. Did I succeed in making a poor man's Old Carter American whiskey? Dang, that's good. Wow. You're getting a very distinct marshmallowy, s'more-like characteristic in that light whiskey now that it did not have when I first started the experiment. The toasted and charred oak stave imparted a ton of flavor on that light whiskey, and it's completely different and so, so good. First experiment was a total success. Next experiment was the Hooters, 80 proof disgusting $10 American whiskey with a sugar maple stave. The sugar maple with the Hooters. Let's see how it turned out. Hooters. Hooters plus sugar maple equals. What the heck? Okay, that's really sweet. That smells like a finished whiskey. This is 42 days with the sugar maple in the Hooters. Kind of like a mentholyptus cherry cough drop. A little bit of strawberry Laffy Taffy. Still a little bit grain forward, a little bit of corn. A little bit of grain, but definitely an improvement on the nose of the Hooters for sure. Let's see how it tastes. Huh. Totally different. And totally drinkable. Oh, okay. The back of it though, the back of it has got a twang to it. It's a little bit sharp on the back end, a little bit sharp on the back end, but overall we're getting a much sweeter, 
almost a creamier mouthfeel than, than what I was used to with the original Hooters. Is this delicious? Mm, no, it's not delicious. But I would say that it's an improvement. I would say that the Hooters experiment was a success. Next up was the Kickin' Chicken, Fighting Cock. 103 proof Fighting Cock in with the American White Oak charred wood stave. So this was a standard American White Oak stave for 42 days into Fighting Cock. To be totally honest, I had some pretty low expectations for this stuff. I had no idea how it was gonna turn out. No clue. But through two samples, I can say that I'm pleasantly surprised, but there are three more to go. So let's see what happened. Fighting Cock has kind of a toasted note to it now. If you're familiar with toasted bourbons or toasted rice, that is what's coming off of this. It honestly smells like a toasted bourbon. The nose on a normal Fighting Cock is gonna have a lot of the Heaven Hill influence, kind of a nutty nose, but this oak stave overwhelmed the nuttiness. Now let's see what it did to the palate. Huh, there's still some nuttiness on the palate. It's a little bit sharp around the edges. But weirdly enough, there is definite added oak to the fighting cock. That's not bad. It's, that's a totally different whiskey too. A little bit drying on the back end. It's not a major turnoff, but it is a little bit drying. It's not my favorite thing. That oak stave definitely had an influence. It definitely changed it. Do I prefer it over the normal fighting cock? Hard to say. I would say that this experiment proved that it could change it but this one might not be for the better. It's just a little bit sharp and a little bit drying and astringent on the backside. This next one was one I was looking forward to. This is Old Granddad 114, one of my favorite budget bourbons that aged for 42 days with a medium toast cherry stave. Look how dark it is. Look how dark it got. That's 42 days of cherry stave action. I took these staves out a few weeks ago and then just let the whiskeys settle. I didn't want to taste them immediately after removing the staves. I kind of wanted to let the whiskey meld with air. I just wanted the whiskey to be able to sit for a while before I judged them. Let's go for a nose. Huh. Weird. The nose on this is a little muted. There is a strong, strong tree note coming from it. It almost smells dry, just straight away on the nose. You're getting a lot of that cherry wood. It is sweet, it is caramelly, but it is kind of bitey and astringent a little bit on the nose. That cherry wood kind of dominates the nose on here. The palette on that was very reminiscent of Old Granddad 114 with a bit of extra woody characteristic to it. All of these have like a specific woody characteristic to it, but this one was really nice. It was Old Granddad 114 Profile. And then it just had like a little bit of a bitter wood note to it, but then it finished like straight vanilla. The finish on this was actually really good. Nuttiness, proofiness from the 114, a little bit spiky, a little bit drying, but the finish is straight vanilla. I dig that. Medium Toast Cherry plus OGD 114. Not bad, not bad. This is the final experiment, the crazy one. This is New Riff Rye. Was aging with European chestnut, medium toast for 42 days. And the color of this SOB is basically opaque. I expect this one to be extra funky and I have no idea how it's gonna taste. Let's see what we did to this $50 bottle of whiskey. What does chestnut do when it mixes with a rye? About to find out. Let's go for a nose. Whoa. That nose is the best nose. That smells wonderful. That smells like Christmas trees. That smells like you just crawled under the Christmas tree to make sure there were no tiny little presents waiting for you on Christmas morning that you couldn't find. 
Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. This might taste delicious, it might taste terrible, but I know one thing, it's gonna be a wild ride down the hatch. What the heck? That was a terrible idea. That was too much. That was too much chestnut. <sighs> Don't do that one. Don't do that one. This experiment is over. This experiment was a ton of fun. Thank you Barrel Char Wood Products for sending me this kit, for entrusting me your experiment, and for sponsoring this video. Overall, Super cool experiment, super fun, definitely worth a try. Go to barrelcharwood.com, use ADHD whiskey at checkout, save 10%, try some of these experiments at home for yourself. If you have an Obtanium light whiskey or a light whiskey in general that you wanna to try to make your own poor man's Old Carter American whiskey, I recommend doing that for sure. If you're bored at home or just wanna try a little experimenty, little experiment poo, Give it a shot. Have some fun. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on trying experiments. If you made it this far in the video, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, ring the bell notification thing, leave a comment below.